اوکے اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے یور سائنس ٹیچر از ہیئر ود ا نیو چیپٹر ساؤنڈ اینڈ ہیئرنگ اینڈ ٹوڈے انشاءاللہ وی ول ہیو این انٹروڈکشن اف دس چیپٹر سو لیٹس سی دیٹ واٹ از اور ٹوڈیز آبجیکٹو our today's objectives are that how sound is produced okay when describe how sound needs a medium to travel through means when sound is produced first we will learn that how sound is produced and when sound is produced how and why it needs a medium to travel through what are the different types of mediums we will learn about it and then it travels at different speeds through different media okay that will be a very interesting objective today inshallah so let's move ahead this is the introduction first we need to know students that what is sound so the vibrations that travel through the air or other medium and can be heard when they reach a person's or animal's ear are called sound okay so vibrations vibrations are basically the true and fro motion of anything means when we speak out it makes certain vibrations certain disturbances in the air definitely our medium is air but it can be any other we will talk about it later so these disturbances start traveling in the air and by traveling through the air it can be heard and it reach to our ear or any animal ear then it is termed termed as sound okay so how is sound produced as it was our first objective number 1 sounds are caused by vibrations take this key point into your consideration students that sound will always be produced when it, there is some vibration i already told you what is vibration it is to and fro motion what is a to to and fro motion students when something vibrate on its fixed position backward and forward okay it remains fixed to its position but it moves backward and forward that is called to and fro motion so sounds are that is the key point that sounds are caused by vibrations vibrations are considered as a disturbance that travels through a medium okay i already told you air is a medium and other for other mediums we will talk about later so this vibratory motion means this motion which has been caused which has been generated it produces an energy okay it causes this energy of sound to transfer to our ears and is interpreted by our brain okay these vibrations travel through air comes to our and reach to our ears when it is reached to our ear our ear send this vibration then to our brain our brain interpret these vibrations and then we are actually able to hear a sound okay students so next to it is that sound is a form of energy okay it's a form of energy it means that the necessary condition to produce a sound is vibration of a particle okay now see what i mean by vibration you can see over here this is called a tuning fork it is a very important um apparatus and instrument in um the study of uh, sound so this is called its prongs okay these are called its prongs you can see that it is its original position but when we hit this 
strong or tuning fork with a rubber pad it starts vibrating in this way so a little bit it moves here a little bit it moves here but actually it remains fixed to its original position that type of sound is called as to and fro motion what it is called to and fro motion of a particle about its mean position means about its fixed position is called as vibration okay students so i hope that till now you have understand that sound is a form of energy like there are many other types of energy so sound is also a form of energy and it is always carried in the form of waves you can see these waves over here now okay you can see these type of waves over here and the necessary condition to produce a sound as i told you earlier that it has must have the vibration of a particle okay so let's have some examples over here you can see a drum over here in this picture that when we hit the drum the membrane of the drum vibrates producing sound okay when we hit it it produces vibrations and this membrane starts vibrating when it vibrates it start generating waves and these waves travel through air and reach to our ear our ear detect that vibration send it to the brain the brain interpret the sound and then we are able to hear the sound when we play a guitar if we talk about this uh, guitar the string on it you can uh, i hope every one of you know that always there are some strings okay strings are there on a guitar makes to and fro motion means it again moves about its mean position and produces sound okay and sound produced by a vibrating prong of a tuning fork also as a good example of sound okay now you can look into these musical instruments right now okay you can see this uh, guitar you can see this clarion and even you can have a choir over here so even the sound produced by different musical instruments they also need a certain medium to travel through okay in guitar it is the strings that vibrates when they vibrate sound is produced okay in a clarion the air column inside it vibrates this is a full column uh, being made a full column is there and air travels into it and when the air is there it helps to um, produce the sound by vibration okay and even when the singers they sing in a choir even their vocal cords i hope we have learned about it about the vocal cords they are present on our neck and when we speak if we hold our thumb or uh, finger on our vocal cords when we speak it vibrates it shows the sensation of vibration and then we even humans are able to produce the sound okay so this is the way that we can uh, see that musical instruments even they produce the sound okay is that clear students okay coming next to that that how sound travel how sound travel sounds if we are listening to a drummer this is um, one of the example one of the example of uh, uh, traveling of sound so it says that if we are listening to a drummer in a band we do not have to put our ear on the drum why because the sound travel when the drum skin is struck when the drum skin is struck means when it is being uh, uh, hit or when it is being beaten the drum skin vibrates as i already told you this drum skin it starts vibrating 
when it vibrates the vibrating skin makes the air molecules vibrate backwards and forward i already told you that it starts moving backward and forward backward and forward and which these molecules affect the molecules next to them and the sound start spreading okay it start spreading within a split of second all the air molecules will be vibrating we hear the sound when the air inside our ear starts to vibrate our ear drums okay so when the drum skin is struck it creates or it generates the uh, vibrations these vibrations causes the air beside the drum to vibrate okay the compression and stretching what is this compression and stretching this is basically that again i will tell you that the uh, forward and the backward movement of the wave these compressions and stretching of air again creates vibrations or the waves and after that creating a sound wave which is carried through the air to your ear when it reaches our ear it hits our eardrum and that eardrum send the vibration sensation to our uh, uh, brain the brain interprets it and this is how students we are able to hear our sound okay i hope every one of you have well understand till now that what is sound how sound is produced how the musical musical instruments impart um in sound uh, producing they even need certain vibrations or they even uh, have some special parts in their musical instruments for vibrations like in guitar it is the string in clarion it is the air column in choir it is the um you can say that it is the uh, vocal cords which vibrates and produces the sound okay and then i have demonstrated and given you this example of drum that how the drum produces the sound uh, and it reaches to our ear and after reaching to our ear how we are able to how we are able to uh, interpret the sound okay i hope every one of you are very clear till now okay now i am moving to the next yes this is a very very interesting experiment i am going to explain with you all okay sound waves need a material to travel through remember it students this is a very important point okay it says that sounds can only move when there is a material to move through and this material is called a medium remember okay the material which sound waves need to travel through is called a medium without it there is nothing to pass on any oscillations oscillation is another term used for vibrations it is another term can be used for compressions and rarefactions as i already told it is another term you can use for the backward and the forward movement of of sound okay and before going next i want to add up that sounds can travel through all substances whether they are solids liquids or gases yes students it is not necessary that sound only travels through air even sound can travel through liquids in your higher classes inshallah you will learn about it and even sounds can pass through solids okay and in fact sounds can pass anywhere there are particles and more tightly packed the particles the further the sound travels it shows and it tells us that sound travels fastest in solids yes why because in solids 
the particles are always tightly packed together okay so i hope you have understand that sound waves need a material to travel through this material is called a medium okay whatever it needs is called its medium without this medium there is nothing to pass on any ice oscillations any type of movement of or vibrations whatever you say okay but now we need to know that what is a single medium or only medium where the sound cannot pass or cannot travel okay students so sound cannot travel through a vacuum vacuum means when it is completely empty space okay when it is a completely empty space that is called a vacuum so the experiment below is to prove that sound waves need a medium to travel through okay so students this is the apparatus for um checking this um question that sound can not why sound cannot travel through a vacuum and the name of this uh, apparatus and experiment is bell jar experiment you can see an inverted a uh, glass made jar and it is shaped like a bell that's why it is called as a bell jar okay so this bell jar it is uh, having an apparatus and you can also see into your um, books that it is having an electric bell it is attached with some wires definitely because you can set any loud speaker into it and this must have a connection with a battery okay and you must have some vacuum pump over here because this vacuum pump will help you to pass this uh, or remove or add the air into it okay so put the electric bell into a jar you can put any loud speaker into it you can put any electric bell into it and remove all the air inside the jar with the help of a vacuum pump so this um outlet for vacuum pump will help to take out the air some uh, any time and even to let the air inside the bell jar also okay so so this when we connect this bell into the battery and switch it on definitely the bell ring but no sound hear the outside of the jar why because we have taken out all the air out of it now there is only a vacuum around it that's why you cannot hear any sound this means that sound required a medium to travel through okay it always needs a medium to travel through so now actually i want to demonstrate this experiment in front of you to check that that how sound travel through uh, a medium and how the sound cannot travel through a vacuum for this i would like to demonstrate a video in front of you for the working of this bell jar experiment let's have a look so for demonstration students it's i'm going to show you a video let's watch this video for the functioning of this bell jar experiment sound needs a medium to travel so let us perform first experiment which will show that sound travels through air take an electric bell and an airtight glass bell jar 
the electric bell is suspended inside the airtight bell jar. The bell jar is connected to a vacuum pump as shown in figure. If you press the switch, you will be able to hear the bell. Now start the vacuum pump. When the air in the jar is pumped out gradually, the sound becomes fainter, although the same current is passing through the bell. After some time, when less air is left inside the bell jar, you will hear a very feeble sound. When air is removed completely, a vacuum is created and we won't be able to hear the sound at all. Now allow the air to enter the bell jar slowly. You will find that the sound of the bell goes on increasing as the amount of air in the bell jar increases. So students, it is clear that sound needs material medium to travel. So that is the end of our today's topic. Stay home, stay safe and God bless you all.